Hey guys, what's up? It's Mo here, and today I have the unboxing for you guys of the Samsung Galaxy S3 from Virgin Mobile, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, so let's get right into it. First of all, I'd like to thank Virgin Mobile for sending this product out for review, and uh, I'll be getting the review out in a week or two, or it depends how long it takes me. But uh, this phone retails for $400, $400 on Virgin Mobile's site. It runs on Sprint's 4G LTE network. It has a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED touchscreen. It has an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, it's uh, 3G and 4G capable. It has a 1.5 gigahertz steel core processor and it runs Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. And yeah. Alright guys, so let's open up the packaging. Uh, this is a brand new phone that they sent out. So you just uh, tear open the uh, the little sheet right there, whatever it's called, and you just open the box up. It's a really simple packaging. Uh, included in the packaging itself is the phone, uh, the Virgin Mobile Galaxy S3. Uh, it's really, it's a really light phone, even with the battery on, and there just has some paperwork. It comes with earbuds. Uh, they don't include any extra ear tips or anything like that. It comes with a USB cable. It also comes with the USB wall adapter, uh, which I won't be opening because I already have like a bunch of them. And then they have a really fat stack of paperwork, which I didn't even bother opening. I just saw it and then I closed it back up. Also in the packaging itself is included a 2100 milliamp battery uh, for the S3 itself. Uh, I'm going to be putting this to test, um, and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys how how long it takes and stuff like that. Uh, what I've heard, it's okay. It's an okay battery. Um, you can get extended batteries like a 7,000 milliamp or something like that. So yeah. So we'll just set up the phone. Um, I got the 20. It's a 2,100 milliamp battery, as I said. You just open. Uh, probably open the back up. It's really. It's made out of plastic, so it feels like you're going to break it, but you're actually not. Uh, and I also have an SD card, so I just popped that in. Uh, so, yeah. And I just popped the back uh, right on. It's a just snap on. It feels really cheap. The phone is made out of plastic, and it's gonna, it's prone to breaking. My friend dropped his S3 the other day. The whole screen is shattered. Uh, really bad, yeah. So, I just open up, uh, turn on the phone. Not open up, turn on the phone itself. Uh, so it's going to turn on Samsung. It's a first time boot up, so it's going to take a little while. And um, I'll be right back after the setup and everything like that. Alright, guys, so the phone is about to turn on. It's going to get in the setup menu. So, yeah, here's the setup menu. Uh, it's just going to just hit English. It's just going to take a sec. Um, and I'm just going to go through the activation. It came with the whole battery is pretty much full. Um, here it is compared to the iPhone 5, my iPhone 5. Obviously, the Samsung Galaxy S3 is way bigger in screen size, uh, but specs wise, they are the same. And yeah, so it's just going to activate. So I'll be right back with the whole setup and everything like that. Alright, guys, so the phone has been set up. Um, it they have actually a mode where Virgin Mobile downloads everything from their uh, kind of startup pack for their phones and it just makes it there. But it does come with all these essentials like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Let's just go into the About device. It's running Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, uh, which is always good. Uh, Android 4.3 just came out yesterday, so we'll see when the update for that comes out. And yeah. So it is running Sprint's 4G LTE network. Um, you guys saw the phone number, but I don't really care if you guys saw it. Um, but yeah. And as I said, I will be testing out the battery life and everything like that. So yeah. All right, guys. So if you like the unboxing, make sure to like button down below. Subscribe for future content. And I will catch you guys in the next video.